Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the new Mark 3 frame from GetRC. In this video I'm going to go over its features, quickly assemble it, and soon I'm going to feature it in a build video. The Mark 3 is available in 4 versions. The one I'm going to check in this video is the H5, which has a wheelbase of 225mm and features replaceable arms. You can also get the T5 version, which has the same wheelbase but features a unibody button plate, the H6, which has a wheelbase of 250mm and is built for 6-inch repellers, and finally the H56, which has a wheelbase of 239mm and as far as I know is compatible with both 5 and 6-inch propellers. Inside the box you can find two high-quality battery velcro straps, the assembly diagram, four arms, the button plate, aluminum side plates, two carbon fiber side plates, the top plate along with a 30x30 30 30 to 20x20 20 20 carbon fiber plate, two units of foam stickers that will help you to secure the battery in its position, and also a battery button plate along with two landing pads, three aluminum spacers along with all the needed screws, and you're also getting four units of anti-vibration spacers, a rubber sticker for securing an action camera on top of the frame, two plastic tubes for protecting the radio receiver antennas, along with six rubber covers and three hex key drivers, five zip ties, and finally some stickers. Now I'm going to assemble the frame, and I will see you in a bit in order to show you the result. So here you can see how the frame looks like when it's assembled, and even though it has the mark in its name, the design is completely different than the Mark II frame. As for its specifications, the total weight of the frame is 104.5 grams, the thickness of the replaceable arms is 4 mm, the thickness of the bottom plate is 2.8 mm, the thickness of the carbon side plates is 2.8 mm as well, the width of the arms is 14 mm. The distance between the bottom plate and the highest point of the frame is about 4.2 cm and the distance between the bottom plate and the lowest part of the frame is about 2.5 cm so you should take it into consideration when using an all-in-one stack. The wheelbase is about 22.48 cm and the distance between the motors is 16 cm so this is a true X-frame. Unlike the latest trend, the Gepper C Mark III is designed for full-sized cameras, so if you have micro or mini-sized cameras, you will need to get this type of an adapter. And in addition, it looks like the side aluminum plates are going to provide plenty of protections for the camera. On the back part of the frame, you can find this aluminum part with an adjustable angle for mounting a VTX antenna connector. So you can just place it like that, and you have two holes on the sides for securing it. Next you can find this part that will help you to keep the battery leads away from the motors. On the center of the frame you can find 30x30 30 30 mounting holes for mounting your stack and unfortunately GEPRC chose not to drill 20x20 20 20 mounting holes, but as I mentioned before they did include this adapter, it will leave you with a little bit less space in the center, but it will leave you with enough space to mount a 20x20 20 20 all-in-one stack on top of it. So overall, as expected from GEPRC, the Mark III looks like a great freestyle frame. It offers plenty of protection for your camera, stack, and also the motors, and I'm looking forward to feature it on one of my next build videos. I actually just got this great looking motor from Flywall, and I think that it's going to go pretty well with this frame, so after I'm going to bench test this motor, I'm going to feature both in a build video. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the GEPRC Mark III, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos, and goodbye.